Napier joins us after Essex beat uh, Durham by six wickets to maintain their hopes of reaching the last four in the YB40. Thanks to a phenomenal performance by Graham with the ball. Uh, Graham, five for 21, four for one in 2.2 overs at the front of their innings. Uh, wrecked all hopes that they had. Just talk us through that uh, amazing first spell. Well, it was a dream start. Uh, a wicket with a second ball with a gain um, and then getting a, another one later in the over. Uh, sets us up in a great position for the game. They're always chasing from there, and uh, then to get two more wickets uh, in, in the in the s in the second and third and second and fourth overs, um, leaving them 14 for four. Um, it's a tough position for them to set any sort of target. Yeah, indeed. And uh, amongst the uh, carnage that you caused, uh, Paul Collingwood, a uh, little bit of extra satisfaction getting the former England man out. Yeah, to get Collie out, he's uh, played an enormous amount of cricket for England, vastly experienced, and uh, to get him uh, added to my list of victims uh, was quite nice. Yes, indeed. At one stage, we were thinking perhaps the twenty, the infamous 20 all-out might even get beaten. It was, uh, if, uh, they were going down like dominoes, but Will Smith batted well, didn't he, and tried to pull the innings round. Yeah, he held their innings, or what was it, most of their innings together, um, and uh, batted very sensibly. He looks a good player. I haven't really come across him much. Um, and one to keep an eye on in the future. Yes, indeed. And then uh, just at the just at the end, as wickets started to tumble again, uh, you came back in and had the last word. Picked up another wicket, but made it a five for uh, five for twenty-one. Um, their score one hundred and thirty-eight. Was it not a, a really good wicket? I mean, was it that bad a wicket, or was no, that down to excellent bowling by oh our boys? Yeah, I, I thought it was a, a very good wicket. Um, I'd have said two sort of twenty, two forty would have been past score out there. Um, and uh, it was some excellent bowling from in the middle of middle of the innings uh, that sort of picked up a couple of wickets. Tamil Mills bowled exceptionally well. It's the best I've seen him bowl in one-day cricket. Um, and then Ryan uh, squeezing the life out of him as well. Uh, and, and it just set us up to, to, to bowl him out for 100 and 138. Um, and I think we'd have been comfortable chasing 200 there tonight. Yes, indeed. And uh, that performance perhaps uh, makes up a little bit for the disappointment on Sunday when, again, uh, you were asked to play a leading role this time with a bat. Uh, nearly got us over the line, perhaps a little bit too late there. You were running out of partners, weren't you, towards the end, and we'd allowed them perhaps a little bit too much leeway at the end of the Hampshire innings. Yeah, Sunday was a tough game. Uh, we really should have won that, I felt. Um, but we, we didn't get off to a good start. Uh, similar to today, they, they got quick wickets, and, and it always makes it tough to, to chase a score down. Yeah, indeed. But, uh, you know, great to go into finals day, isn't it? With, uh, you know, with a win behind us, confidence. And in fact, we've been playing some excellent cricket of late, haven't we? Yeah, I think this, this game certainly has put a spring in our step for, for Saturday. Um, we'll take enormous amounts of confidence from this, the way the guys bowled today. And we've got players coming in to strengthen the squad, Sean Tate coming in. Uh, so it leaves us in a great position um, for the first match on Saturday morning. Yeah.